right off the bat, we had to fight for the right to have an LGBTQ plus festival in our community. DOMA, the Doma. Defense of, of Marriage Act, was going on. Defines marriage as a union of a man and a woman. And it was a different time, you know, we were still dealing with AIDS, you know, we were still losing people quite a bit at the time. We're not going to just not have a Pride Festival just because the then mayor said we weren't going to have one. With so many trans women and men being murdered, it was important to raise the visibility. All the people that fought for the right just to walk down the street and hold hands. People lost their lives and, and still do. Now, Supreme Court Justice Samuel Alito's leaked draft opinion striking down abortion rights is gay marriage the next to fall. Bringing the clock back to like pre-1965. It personally offends me that we allow sodomy to run loose in this country. What did he just call me? <laughs> more than an event, we're a movement. Being allowed to be who we are without persecution. It's not over. We don't know how easily it would be to take all of these things away. We've existed forever. Progress is very fragile, particularly for communities that have been discriminated against. Visibility reassures people that we're here, that we're important. We're all in this thing together. It's not white, it's not black, it's not male, it's not female, it's not cis, it's everybody. Crime doesn't exist in a vacuum. Nobody wanted to fail. Our happily ever after might be taken away.